Hi there, this is Julie from Sermons for Kids. We want to take you on a walkthrough of the site today. First, I'd like to say if you're new to the site, welcome. And if you've been with us for many years, thank you for your continued support. So, how does Sermons for Kids work? Well, we are primarily based on the lectionary calendar, and our sermon selection in a given week is based on the Revised Common Lectionary, which is a three-year cycle of weekly scriptures used by many churches and is built around seasons of the church year. It includes four readings for each Sunday of the year. Sermons for Kids focuses on one of the readings each Sunday, usually the Gospel. If you are subscribed to our Sermon of the Week newsletter, you know you can expect an email from us on Sunday night with the Sermon of the Week, which is for the upcoming Sunday, the readings of which are based on the lectionary calendar. This allows you a whole week to prepare. If you visit our website Sunday night through the following Sunday morning, the home page, which is a page that we're on right now, features the Sermon of the Week. The Sermon of the Week and activities like coloring pages and other resources that you may use are free. We also offer a subscription service called Sermons for Kids Plus. It corresponds to the Sermon of the Week, but offers additional content and features like elementary and preschool lesson plans, daily discussion questions for families, animated lesson videos, and exclusive handouts that really bring the Bible to life and help children grow their love for God. You can only access Plus content if you or someone in your ministry team signs up for an account. If you don't have an account, you may notice that certain items are blocked from view. If you're ever curious about what kind of content we have on Sermons for Kids Plus, feel free to sign up for a free 14-day trial. It's a great way to check it out. All right, let's get started with the walkthrough. We're on the homepage right now, as I mentioned before. The homepage contains the Sermon of the Week. Here on the right, you'll see the resources and activities for the sermon. Click on any of these to open them up in a new tab. And here at the bottom of the page, we have related sermons. You have lots of ways to find great material. Scrolling back up, we've added buttons so you can check out all the lessons that are coming up so you can plan ahead. You can also see previous sermons of the week by navigating backwards. This is a great tool to see all of the Sermons for Kids Plus lessons that are available. From here, let's say I want to explore sermons to get some inspiration. I'm going to click here on the Sermons button and check out some of these categories. Click in any of these categories to start exploring great content. Let's say you want to find a sermon with a particular verse or from a particular book of the Bible. Let's go to the All Sermons page. Here in the filter box, I'll type in a search query and hit Filter. See all my results? Now, what if I want to find a coloring page about a specific person or topic? Let's go to the coloring page. I'm going to include a filter term and hit Go. See all these results? I can do this on the puzzle page too. We have so many different types of activity pages. You can actually select which one you want and then filter the results you see by that. We have some new pages you'll see as well. These are for how-to videos and animated lesson videos. If I click into a how-to video and scroll down, you'll see which sermon it comes from, as well as all the related resources and activities. This is a great way to find materials that have already been grouped together. You'll notice that this is visible on all of the activity pages that you'll click on. On the animated video lesson screen, you won't be able to click on the links to preview the videos unless you have a Plus account and are logged in. I'm not logged in right now, but from any screen you can click the login button here. Insert your email address and your password. Don't worry if you've forgotten your password. Click this button and we'll send you a link to reset it. All right, now I'm logged in. So let's go back to the animated video screen. See, now I can access everything. Let's say I want to bookmark this video and save it for later. Now, if I click on my name, I'll select the bookmark from the drop-down menu, and I can see all of the bookmarks I've ever created. If I go to my settings, 
I'm taken to manage my account settings for my Sermons for Kids Plus subscription. I can manage my church team here by inviting new team members or deleting others. Next, I'm going to the Daily Discussions tab. Here I can opt in or out of receiving daily discussion emails. I can also invite parents to receive these daily discussion prompts every day via email by sending them an email invitation here, or by sending them a link to sign up, which I can click on here and copy it to my clipboard. Next, you can edit your personal information in this tab. On to the billing section. From the subscription tab, I can update my subscription from monthly to annual pricing and save money. I can also cancel my subscription on this page. Moving along to the payment method, I can update my credit card and payment information here. Lastly, I can also control my invoices. If you need to make any custom note, you can include it right here and click update. You can also access your PDF version of your invoice from the back end from this page as well. Next, I'd like to show you these notifications. Occasionally, we will send you notifications and announcements and they'll be visible here. So if you sign in and click settings, you should get a little bell that says one or however many message you may have. You can simply click on the announcement or the notification and see our notification. You can also click on this chat box right here and we'll get to your question as soon as possible. Now I'm going back to Sermons for Kids and we're back to where we started on the home screen. Notice that my view is different now that I'm logged into my Plus account. I hope this overview helps you and get some clarity about who we are and what we're doing and what you can expect in the future. That's it for now. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.